This is about my recent trip to New York. Well, it was a whirlwind trip, and uh, so this show will be pretty much the same. Everything very brief. I had uh, dinner with uh, with the artist Christo. His wife died sadly last year, and um, I always usually I always, always I was used to having dinner with both of them. But Christo was in good spirits. He's hard to pin down though when you put him on camera. Um, we I went to visit my friend in New Jersey. Caroline. Um, I stayed with uh, Jarrell, my friend who used to be art director at the op age at the New York Times. Uh, I saw briefly my ex-wife. I went to visit my friend uh, Lola's acting class. She teaches acting at uh, Strasbourg. I uh, visited High Times because they wanted to put me on camera and interview me about my early days with Tom Fassard at High Times and um, all kinds of little things like that. Um, I sometimes won't explain them rather than I'm too too lazy to do introductions to each of them but none of them are um, unusually significant they're just you know bits that I pass through I'm going to start out with my walk up the side of the Hudson River with my new friend Alyssa who was going to show me the High Line to Sheridan Square to meet my new friend Alicia so uh, Alicia said she would take me to the High Line Park that nice new park that uh, has gone up since I was last in New York, so I'm waiting here in Sheridan Square to meet her and uh, we'll see what happens. Sheridan Square, is, Sheridan Square has changed quite a lot over the years. Physically it's much the same. Well, on the corner there used to be the Village Voice many years ago, and a half a block down was the Stonewall Tavern, famous for the birth of the gay movement, the active gay movement. This is 7th Avenue coming down towards us and going that way. The limelight, the famous uh, night spot used to be down there once. Of course, there have always been sightseeing buses. Hope I'll recognize Alicia when I see her. She's quite delicious. We only met last night. She's an actress and is going to come out to California soon to further her career. Okay, we've reached the water on the west side, Hudson River, and we're going to climb on the park in a minute. Here's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> New York's changed a lot since I was here. All this stuff is, is brand new, sort of relaxing area and so on. You can sit and uh, have your picnic by the river or run as my case may be. And they've removed a lot of the old piers leaving the um, what was what they stood on standing sticking out of the water. That there is not the water. Ah. So nice We're looking place. over at New Jersey. I can I can sail without wind. I can row without oars, but I cannot part from my friend without tears. Two little ducks cleaning themselves for the day. <laughs> it must have pulled down a lot of piers. There's a mural here of, um, of the old Pier 54 before they pulled it down. There's still the faded lettering of Cunard Line up here. They're redoing the pier. Thank you, thank you. They're redoing the pier in, in a different form, more modern, usable. Hudson River Park, Pier 54. Here's a nice piece of architecture. I don't know how you'd describe that shape. Anyway, it's near where the entrance is to the High Line, near 18th Street. Alongside the river are these little tiny parks, lots of flowers and foliage, and lots of places to sit down and tables, so it's all very restful and all very different from when I was in New York. Hi, big furry dog. 
We got lost for a while straying too near the river, but here is the High Line Park, which we're about to approach and enter. Here are steps. As it happens, we went past that building. One of the entrances of the High Line is way behind it, but we stayed west and didn't notice it, so we had to come back. But it's nice, it's lined with grass and plants and reeds and things all the way. There's delicious on the phone. And it's all kept watered and in good shape. Good, that's nice. Okay. each other a long time she's even been on my show in the past and she did this fabulous book it's all about the art work and the op-ed page of the New York Times she how many years were you there Jarell? I was at the Times for a total of 30 years 30 years the New York for Times. 13 years yeah and and so um, the book came out about five, four or five years ago no, right? yes, last year, oh, last year. Okay. 2009. right yes, okay 2009 <laughs> uh, and, and the other thing, that the reason I sat her there was this fabulous feathered thing which looks like the huge wing of a bird, which she made. And where well, did it's, you... It, it, is, it is really a wing, but right. it was a wing so that I could fly, and, uh, but I have to do, make the other one in order to be able to fly. Oh, right, uh, right. So I haven't done the other one. <laughs> so I'm stuck, you know. I mean, I, I would end up like Icarus. <laughs> right. Where did all the feathers come from? Well, I got the feathers in the garment district. Right. But first, uh, to make the fiberglass, uh, you know, shape. Right. And uh, that's the wing shape. That's really the, the sculpture. You know, that's the art of it. And then yeah. Well, and then the, the, the feathers are mostly turkey feathers. And um, in the garment district of New York, you can get anything, of course. Um, uh, and uh, and I just uh, glued them on, and they're, they stay pretty well because I, I did it several years ago. And, and Are they all the natural colors, or did you have to apply uh, some no, color? No, they, they, uh, they some of them were dyed. The, I the see, right. The were dyed, yes. Right. It would be some bloody bird, wouldn't it? <laughs> Like an elephant-eating bird. <laughs> anyway, we are off to um, uh, a book uh, event in the in the museum. I mean, in the in, in the library, the library. You're, you're and it's for this now. book about Warhol that I did a long time ago. So we're both going to go down there, and uh, I will resume this later. Thank you, Jarrell. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs>